The focus breadcrumbs command opens up the breadcrumbs widget, which shows a list of all the symbols in the current file. By default, it's bound to control shift period on Windows and Linux or command shift period on Mac. So here I'm in a TypeScript file and I'm gonna press command shift period or control shift period on Windows and Linux. And now I've opened up the breadcrumbs view here. So here you can see a list of all the symbols in the file. This is things like classes, functions, variables, and I can just browse through this list. Now, if I start using the arrow keys, I can actually get a preview of each of these symbols here. So you can see I'm focused on top async, or let's go to top step, for example, and you can see that it's actually highlighting that function in this current file. Now I can also expand some of these entries to see some of the child elements. So I can browse to individual variables within the um, file here as well. So I can just browse through the entire file. Now, if I want to jump to one of these, all I have to do is either click on it or press enter. So let's say I want to go to binary search here. I can just press enter and now my cursor is on the binary search entry here. Now I'm going to open up that again with control shift period or command shift period on Mac. And you can also now start typing once the breadcrumbs widget is showing to actually filter things down or highlight what you're looking for. So let's say I wanted to find things related to sort. I can just start typing sort. And by default, VS Code will go and highlight all of the symbols here that have sort in the name. Now, if I actually go and hover over the little filter up here, I can change it so it actually filters down the list and only shows the entries that have sort in the name here. So now I've filtered down the breadcrumbs list as well. Now, one other neat key binding for working with breadcrumbs, you can see that there are these other entries in the breadcrumbs as well that you can actually navigate to using the mouse. But if you don't actually want to navigate between these by clicking, you can just hold down Option or Alt and then use the left and right arrow keys to switch between the breadcrumb groups here. So I'm holding down Option or Alt and then using the left and right arrow keys to actually navigate. And this, um, for example, when I navigate back here, I would actually be able to select a different file to open up. So I can use the breadcrumbs to open up different files and just kind of explore my entire project structure. Or I can go further back and actually see these, uh, the symbols within the current file. So that is the focus breadcrumbs command. Once you have the breadcrumbs open, you can see a list of all symbols in your file and perform a bunch of other useful operations as well.